Hello, uh, my name is Helen and I'm going to be showing you how to take cuttings from uh, houseplants. Today I've chosen the begonia, um, which was first introduced to the British gardeners in about 1860s and was a huge success and, and a huge hit because of its foliage and its delicate flower. Begonias are a spectacular houseplant with their beautiful foliage. Now, as far as the species goes, they're actually grown natively um, in Africa and northeast um, India. Um, they are used to low lights, which is perfect for all house conditions. Okay, the first step, um, whilst propagating, is to actually cut the leaf at the stem. You can either use your fingers and make sure it's at the base, or either use a pair of scissors, it's that simple. And there you go, there's your leaf. Now, if you turn it over, you can see that the variations on here are really quite striking. Um, but what you need to do, you need to make sure that you cut the leaf along one of the main veins. Like that. Okay, and there you have your postage stamp um, begonia leaf cutting. Then what you would do then is actually place the leaf long side down into the pot, about an inch, half an inch deep. And then you would do it again. Just pack it up so it's actually by the edge and then just knock it down so you have some stability. Then, mustn't forget the label, very important. Now, the next thing that you'll notice is there's actually um, white fluffy stuff in here. That's called perlite. And that actually enables the plant to actually breathe and retains moisture, which is very important. Then the most crucial thing to this is you have to have a plastic bag. Now, if you don't do this, the liquid and the moisture in this leaf will actually evaporate and it will shrivel up and die. So it's crucial for these to grow is you actually place a plastic bag over the top. As simple as that. Sometimes, depending on what the bag's like, it's actually worthwhile to sticking in some spikes to support the bag. Once you've done that, um, you'll need to place this in a light and warm area, but not in direct sunlight. Um, making sure that you don't create too much condensation and just leave it. And after about eight to 10 weeks, you should have an additional leaves coming up, which should look something like that. And once that happens, transplant it and pot it on.